They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live. For our sake, at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to, for this world. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. I'm Valcor. Time for chapter two. Where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come on out. Hey! Come out, bugs. Where are you all hiding? Mm, just when Gonja think he finds them, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun. But no bugs. Why? Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! If any bugs here come out, going to want to talk to you. Huh? Something on ground in grass. Words written on it? Horsey? That's a Pokemon. Uh. Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. But the Durba hurting me along, I went to open the door. Kaito. Hey! What are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito. I've hidden Monokuma's over there. It was pretty comfortable. I see I've inherited Kaede's Golden Sun Powers, with her wish. Uh, um, Do you need something? Come on, Well, man. yeah, food! Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get you. Huh? But I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey! I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Uh... All right. Ah, whatever. Let's get going. The others are waiting. Ah, uh. I'm not ready. Let me get my. Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Let's go. Ah. I was gonna tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Uh, that. It's okay. I see. Then let's go. Just a monitor. Even if I investigate, I don't think I'll find anything suspicious. Maybe there's a camera in here watching us. Maybe not. Alright, well, let's go. Yeah, okay, they didn't have the hidden monokumas in her room, huh? I will keep your wish, Kaede. Come on. Hey, man. come on! What are you doing? Everyone else is in the dining hall. Let's get going. All right, let's go with Kaito, I guess. Do I have to redo my bonds then? Well, because I can't, obviously Shuichi can't have a bond with himself, I feel. You know. Let's see. Do I not have report card? Oh, there it is. Dislikes gossip. Yeah, I guess Shuichi is, uh, oh yeah, she's gone. Where does she ha But we got, like, a thing with each other, didn't we? Oh man, I don't have, uh, any fragments with anyone now. Well, I guess Kaede is the one who friended them, mm. not Juichi. Bummer. What can you do, I guess? Oh, god, Juichi's got just as much, way too high mouth sensitivity as Kaede. So, uh, yeah, last time, uh, you might notice, uh, the, uh, first to last trial came to a conclusion, and Kaede was the killer of Rantaro. 
trying to kill the mastermind. So we're in control of Shuichi now. Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh... Atua says it's just graffiti. Now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Oh, Atua, that's even more suspicious. My, my! Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Huh. Yeah. As I suspected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Did he leave his hat off? Yep. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um. He was hiding the Danganronpa protagonist hair spike under his hat. Of course he was. Kaede had one. Although, Kibo has one too. But Shuichi's hiding one under his hat. You finally got rid of that emo hat! Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? You're the worst, truly. Uh, Miu has a little Danganronpa... I think it's called an Ahoge, actually. Quiet, you male! Learn some manners, why don't you? Yeah, he's got the protagonist spike. Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you could stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way is all. Uh, um... You don't have to stare, I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. That is correct. You are right, my apologies. She doesn't have an ahoge. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Damn, his, yeah, he's got a big hat. Thank big you. Big ass spike. <laughs> and so do you, sort of. Well, you got like two. Unlike plain Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um... I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Uh, anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I prepared an Italian omelette, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I've pre prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kirumi, be my mom! Mm. Gonta want you to be his mom, too! Hmm. What are you two even saying? Oh, yeah! I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. She's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. Oh, dear. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kirumi brought out. Amazing! Going to not mean to flatter, but all oh, this food's so yummy! Excellent. It's so delicious, it makes me want to cut off my tongue. Mm -hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez! Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey! How have you survived this long? Well? What's wrong, Key Boy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot you can't eat. You know, because you're a robot. Hey! Don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well... I don't want that. I'm not a race receptacle. <laughs> Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. No, fucking Kokichi is just super mean to my friend Kibo here. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why... This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Jesus Christ. 
What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah. Oh. So, hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food into my mouth. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? Ha, fucking virgin! Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Graffiti? Um. Oh, Gonta find it this morning. Hey! On concrete, hidden in grass. Words horse A written there. Hmm. What do you think it means? Hmm. Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo! Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. Hmm? Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, Gonta think that before, but... But... When out walking in courtyard, Gonta think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bug so tiny even Gonta know could see it. And Gonta have 20... 0 0.625 eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make mistake, but Gonta think... Maybe... No, maybe Gonta just see things. Degenerate male! Which means... So, you found that message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? Really? It's true! Yep, so you should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? What? You're going to agree to it just like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. Huh? Really? <laughs> no way! Thank goodness. Well, then Gonta have no reason to worry. Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, oh, no. you'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Ah! Oh. The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <laughs> oh, Kokichi, you know I should say a thing like that, even as joke. Hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K word been banned? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Hmm? How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. I'm ready! This is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considerate as amoebas. Hey! Don't complain if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood at you? You really don't get it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Hello! Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. They're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Ganging up? Hey! No bullying! Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst. You're Personally, annoying. I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. <laughs> it's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. More importantly, why are you even here? I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize. Rise and shine, or sign! Oh my god, the robot's talking again. I could hear him. Oh, they're all... Rise and shine, or sign! Uh, mono... mono bot. Um... The reward, right? Hmm. We brought it, yep. So I'll just give it to you then. Uh, mono Dam, sorry. I think Mono Dam's talking now. My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Threshold of amazing adventure. Think. Are you being bullied? <laughs> huh? Huh? That, that's um. I knew it. I understand from experience. Huh? From experience, Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? <laughs> is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst Use of the your worst. magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches. 
stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Hold on, the Mono Cubs lead each other? What? No way, the Mono Cubs should always get along. Oh my you weird. kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along, always. Oh, yes, we do. Right? See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why, you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we motto kids give off is perfect. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Got it? Anyway, we're going to hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. What? Is that an ocarina? Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo. Oh my. Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth... Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for? Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. Mm. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation. So just do your best however you please. We... Let's go. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. Huh? Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? <gasps> Not that, anything but that. Actually... Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah? What? Get along? Really? You stupid... Well then, yeah, he killed Mono Kid, remember? Have you considered that Mono Kid with a dirt bag? <laughs> Look at Kyo just, like, having a great time. Seeing that robot-looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. However, and what'll happen when we do? Uh... I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Nah. Nah, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? Uh, me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. I'll try. Man. Whatevs. I guess that's fine. I need to get around to the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Alright, let's get going. Bye bye, everyone. Oh, we're gonna stop at the school store for. Uh, uh, uh. God! Shuichi, go in the store! Alright, fine. I guess we're not going in the freaking store. I don't remember anywhere for mysterious objects, though. So. You got anything for me, Ryoma? Jeez. So you finally decided to raise your head. Huh? Your... Up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny oh, that. <laughs> this world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful, and don't let your eyes deceive right. you. <laughs> Sorry for the unsolicited device. Dragon jump? Probably. Oh, one man's trash. I just got an achievement. Well, that worked. Oh, part of the wall is gone. Oh. That's so cool. We can get past this wall now. All right, then, charge! 
Can't flush the toxic. Oh, wait, charging in is dangerous. Um, hear me. What's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time. Exactly how long is a long time? Hmm. Hello. Hey. You have time to stop. Hurry up and find a use for all that junk. Did you bust your boy, Cherry Virgin? How's it feel to walk right now? Why are you like this? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Guess I could go through. Oh, hey, Kyo. I see. Oh, it was a hidden passage. My, how elaborate. What is this room? This must be an ultimate All research right. lab. Who's The ultimate maid's lab. Oh, key is angry with me. This room gives off an antique vibe. It seems as if... These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Then this must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly... Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That is correct. Have the detective, I see. So this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kirimi. Excellent. Hmm, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Me too. I see. This appears to be Kirumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Korakio closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that bloomed between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> That's so. Then are you saying I am like some young love-struck girl? <laughs> but that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, sorry, Kirimi. That is. This is my research lab, and I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Uh, I may have decapitated one of them just then. My bad. Uh... Haha. <laughs> just don't even, don't worry about it. Uh, don't look at it. Uh, we're just gonna finish off the rest of the family so that there is no evidence left behind. Uh, and we'll be good to go. Yeah. Alright, all of the, uh, evidence has been removed, and I'm going to ex- Oh, never mind, I will not be excusing myself. Uh. Yes. They were known as the Downstairs People, a stark reminder of their lower station. Do I have anything else in here to look at? Besides a monitor, I don't think so. What? What am I? Do I need to talk to Keo again? Oh no, there's a wall over there. Excellent. Sister would like it too. I wonder if there's a bunch of May uniforms in this closet. Or washing machines. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? You mean the school? Kirimi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind to serve others as a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will grant your wish. I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Don't, like, act out a murder or anything for someone. That would be horrible. We'd have another Pekka situation on our hands. 
Okay, I think we're going to end things off for this time, guys. Uh, and next time we will continue to explore the new bits of the school that we've opened up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.